Yeah, Roger. I got you. Oh, yeah, I got you. I got you, Terry. Well, yeah, I, I, my situation is similar to yours. I just, I just don't have as much land as you may do there, as you do have there. However, I'm like uh, two, uh, three miles uh, north of the city, here between the mountains and the sea, really. And uh, I have no neighbors, that's for sure. <laughs> I got only the birds. So it's similar to your situation there. And that's why I could put up anything I want. I got a couple towers. If you look on QRZ, you may be able to see them. Um, but uh, it's not an actual picture, but the towers are there. Perhaps different antennas, but uh, I got to put up something better so uh, my fellow hams could see what I got. But uh, yeah, yeah, well, I, I understand, I understand. My location is about 310 meters above sea level, and I'm about uh, 12 uh, miles from the seashore. So I am not uh, in a bad location, and uh, the, the phreatic level here is very, very high. We've got water almost under our feet. And that helps for the takeoff, you know. All my antennas work very nice, and I get good signals even with wires. Although on 20 meters, I use a four-element wide space monovender. And uh, likewise on 10 meters and, uh, and all of that. So I, I put up good signals, and I do copy really nicely. You know, right now, I'm copying you on an uh, 80 meter, uh, uh, 80 meter uh, wire antenna, which is a delta loop. And that works very nicely, though. Uh, so uh, you, you give me a 20 over 9, can you see that? So my location is not that bad. Oh, yeah, you know, it's all, it's all a matter of uh, looking for a better way of doing it. And I'm always looking for a better way of doing it. Uh, my, my, uh, uh, I'm, only, uh, I am, I'm only a ham radio. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is not, I'm not uh, inclined to these new technologies. By other words, I'm not an engineer or anything on these uh, new technologies. However, you know, it's tough when you don't know much and you got to learn everything how to do it. So you go step by step. It probably takes you a long, long time. Although I've had some help from uh, uh, people that understand about this uh, more about it than I do. However, I'm pretty good on it. Uh, well, let me tell you, Terry. I became pretty good as the years go by, and uh, but uh, anyhow, um, when you want to, uh, uh, you know, when you when you were right on a field of that, you know about these new technologies. It's easier. But that being, that's only a hobby. So it's, it's a matter of having fun, really. You know, I spend hours and hours studying how to do it any better. And uh, in the investment is quite good. But anyway, it works. It works, and that's what matters. So congratulations for your setup. I see the antenna up there. I see all the antennas you got there, so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice setup uh, we need. Okay. Yeah. Well, the rotor um, it could be controlled. Oh, uh, yeah, you got a Yezu rotor there. Yeah, that could be also controlled remotely, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes, you can. You know, I got in time, I got the, uh, what do you want to the station master. The station master, which... Uh, Worked quite uh, quite well here for quite some time. I'm not using right now. Uh, it's called the Station Master, the right micro ham. I'm sure you do know about it. I uh, yeah, I couldn't tell that in there in your in your setup. But now I'm not using it anymore because there are other ways to control the whole thing remotely without having that uh, uh, remote uh, uh, that uh, that uh, that thing on the way. But it did quite quite well for me when uh, well, things were not as good as they are. So uh, we're still improving, and uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, go back to you, Terry. Over.